Opalescence Boost is a chemically activated in-office tooth whitening treatment. Be certain to read the product instructions, warnings, and information for the patient contained in the package and advise the patient accordingly. Determine the patient's initial shade for your records. Both you and the patient should wear protective eyewear during the procedure. Place a self-supporting lip and cheek retractor followed by the UltraDent Isoblock Bite Block. Instruct the patient to hold the isoblock in place with gentle but firm biting pressure. Remove the lure lock cap from the Opal Dam Green Resin Barrier Syringe and securely attach a micro 20 gauge tip. Verify flow prior to placing intraorally. Rinse and air dry the teeth and gums thoroughly. Express a continuous bead of Opal Dam Barrier along the gingival margin overlapping approximately 0.5 millimeters onto the enamel. Extend the resin one tooth beyond the last tooth to be whitened. Using the mouth mirror, look up the long axis of the teeth for gaps or minute openings exposing underlying tissue and reapply resin. Light cure the resin for 20 seconds per arch using a scanning motion. Carefully check the resin cure with an instrument. Before mixing Opalescence Boost Whitening, check that the red syringe is securely attached to the clear syringe. Depress the small clear plunger into the middle small clear syringe to rupture the internal membrane and combine the whitening gel and activator. Press the red plunger completely back into the clear syringe. To thoroughly mix the activator with the whitening gel, push stems back and forth continually with thumbs and mix a minimum of 50 times rapidly, 25 times each side. Press all mixed gel into the red syringe. Twist to separate the two syringes and securely attach tip. Verify flow prior to applying intraorally. If you feel any resistance, do not proceed. Attach a new tip and test the flow again before applying Opalescence Boost Whitening Gel to the teeth. Apply a 0.5 to 1 millimeter thick layer of gel over the labial surface of the teeth. Allow the gel to remain on the teeth for 20 minutes periodically checking and reapplying the gel to areas that have thinned or need replenishing. Periodically section saliva with saliva ejector as needed. Section gel from teeth using the Ultra Dent Lure Vac Adapter and Surgical Suction Tip. To avoid gel splatter, do not use water while suctioning gel. When no gel is visible, lightly rinse and air dry. Use caution to not to dislodge the isolation barrier. Tip. Clear section periodically with water. Evaluate shade change after each application and monitor patient for sensitivity and irritation. If persistent tooth sensitivity occurs, discontinue use. Repeat application one to two times or until the desired results are achieved. We do not recommend exceeding three applications per visit. Suction gel from teeth using the Lure Vac Adapter and Surgical Suction Tip then thoroughly rinse teeth with an air or water spray and the high volume suction. Once the desired shade of white is achieved or you have completed three applications, use a dental instrument to remove the cured Opal Dam resin barrier. Whitening effect may continue for 24 to 48 hours following whitening, so a slight increase in whitening may be realized during this period.